Welcome to the video on Ichimoku Cloud Trading Strategy. In this series, we will be learning about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo indicator and application of same across various time frames. So today's video is about Kumo breakout strategy and its application across various time frames and asset classes. So let's get started. So the convention tickets for VWAP trading are already sold out for Bengaluru and Mumbai. I am extremely thankful to all of you that all the tickets were sold within 12 hours of announcing this on the Telegram channel. Registration for the online module is still open. This is the same training which will be delivered over a webinar format and details of this training is given in the comment section and in the description box below. In this training, I am going to give out complete guidelines on how to become a successful day trader and short term trader with VWAP indicator. So do check out the same. So let us now get back to the Ichimoku trading strategy video. Before moving to the Kumo breakout trading strategy, let us first look into Kumo twist. If you have not watched part one of Ichimoku cloud trading strategy, then do watch that part as well as I have explained basics and some advanced concepts. Link to part one will come up at top right end of your screen. Now we all know that Kumo cloud is formed with Senko A and Senko B. When Senko A is above Senko B, Kumo cloud indicates bullishness and I have marked the same in green color. When Senko A is below Senko B, Trend is considered as bearish and I have marked the same in the red color here. So Kumo twist happens when trend changes from bullish to bearish and from bearish to bullish again. If you look at this instance, Kumo twist occurs here where trend changes from bullish to bearish. A few sessions later again, if you see trend changes from bearish to bullish. So this particular point that you see is Kumo twist happening on the bullish side. And this particular point that you see is Kumo twist happening on the bearish side. I hope this aspect is clear. Do note here that Ichimoku cloud is a lagging indicator and it basically gives you the direction of trend and therefore this is not a good timing indicator. But with various components of Ichimoku clouds, you can minimize drawdowns and improve your odds of success. So this is something we will be exploring in the slides ahead. So let me now cover the basic foundation rules for Kumo breakout strategy. There are two main conditions which need to be fulfilled for a long trade. Number one, price should clearly be above the Kumo cloud. And number two, both Senko A and Senko B should be heading higher. So take a look at the chart in front of you. At this point, price is clearly above the Kumo cloud, but this does not qualify as a valid trade. The main reason here is that Senko A and Senko B are flat and they are not rising. This same reasoning applies in this region and the one that I've marked here. If you look at this section, price here is above the Ichimoku cloud, but trend is still bearish. And hence this does not qualify as a trade. So let us now come to this particular section. When price was above the Ichimoku cloud in this region, both Senko A and Senko B were flat. A valid long trade does not come about until this point here, where both Senko A and Senko B start rising. Now many traders would feel that they are missing out on this move here, but this is how Ichimoku clouds work and this is one of the main reasons these are so effective. So Ichimoku clouds would only get you to participate when odds of success are high and hence it is imperative that you understand this about Ichimoku clouds. When it comes to short sell trades, price should be below Ichimoku cloud and both Senko A and Senko B should be heading lower. So at this point, price is clearly below the Ichimoku cloud, but Kumo twist happens at this region. Therefore, there is no short sell trade available in this particular region here. Now, as you gain more experience with this method, you can begin short selling at this region and at this particular region here. So if you're beginning to trade with Ichimoku clouds, you should prefer short selling at this particular point where the Kumo twist has happened and Senko A and Senko B are clearly heading lower. So now that you've understood the basic rules of Kumo breakout strategy, let me now explain rules with respect to Tenkan, Kijun and Chiko. Do note here that all components of Ichimoku are vital and you need to focus on high probability setups only. Under the confirmation rule, you need to watch for price position with respect to Tenkan, Kijun and Chiko. For a valid long setup, Chiko has to be above price and this should be checked at all times. In all these cases where price made attempt to move above Ichimoku cloud, Chiko was clearly below price. So let us now come to Tenkan and Kijun. Tenkan and Kijun basically need to trend as well. If Tenkan and Kijun are flat, then avoid taking the trade. 
So in this chart in front of you, look at this period where Tenkan and Kijun are clearly trending higher. Tenkan is marked in blue, whereas Kijun I have marked in brown. Do note here that trending Tenkan and Kijun represent strong trend in the market and hence you should be focusing on such trending periods only. In previous instances, if you see as price was attempting to move above Ichimoku cloud, look at how Tenkan and Kijun were flat. So there was no trending structure that was visible here. I hope now you can see how combination of Tenkan, Kijun and Chiku prevented you from taking a long and short trade in these particular regions. This in my opinion remains one of the main advantages of using Ichimoku trading strategy. So let me now explain the key things you should focus upon while trading this Ichimoku cloud trading strategy. The first element to consider is whether price is coming out of a range or is having a V-shaped pattern. If price is forming a V-structure, then reduce your position size as trading such patterns is always difficult. Now, if price is forming a range and is consolidating, then this setup should be focused upon as this is more rewarding for a trader. The second element to focus upon is direction of Senko A and Senko B. Both Senko A and Senko B should be clearly trending. It does not matter whether the trend is up or down. The main condition is that Senko A and Senko B should be clearly trending. The third element to focus upon is Tenkan, Kijun and Chiko with respect to price. Both Tenkan and Kijun should be trending and Chiko should be clearly above or below price. Now this depends whether you're taking a long trade or a short trade. So the ideal scenario to execute a trade would be when all components of Ichimoku cloud suggest the same things in terms of direction of trend. So in this chart, Senko A and Senko B are clearly trending lower. Look at Tenkan and look at Kijun. Both Tenkan and Kijun are clearly heading lower over a period of time and do take a note of Chiko as well. In most of the instances, Chiko is clearly below price. So I hope you can now see what you need to focus upon and how you have to avoid such phases in the market. So this chart that you see is something you will see more often and this is where Ichimoku indicator is so useful in a trading strategy. In the Kumo strategy, we are waiting for all elements to align in the direction of trend and if you look at this chart, there is no trade visible despite instances where price moves above and below the Ichimoku cloud. Based on other trading strategies, you might get entry opportunity into this instrument, but based on Ichimoku trading strategy, you would be sitting on the sidelines waiting for entry opportunities to show up. Do recollect that market trends only 30 to 35% of the time and it consolidates for nearly 65% of time. This means as a trader, you need to sit on sidelines and trade only when right conditions show up. I hope you can see how effective Kumo breakout strategy is in terms of limiting whipsaws in your trading account. Yes, you have to compromise in terms of timing the trend, but overall whipsaw phase you can entirely avoid in the market. Let us now look at four case studies across various time frames. The first case study is on a five minute time frame chart. In this chart, in this congestion region that I've marked, both Tenkan and Kijun were flat and Senko A and Senko B were not trending. Therefore, in this region, there was no trade there to be taken. The only region where short trade was available was in these region where price was moving lower and Tenkan and Kijun were both trending lower. Now do look at Senko A, Senko B and Chiku. All three were clearly trending lower and suggesting that trend is down. Once you enter the trade, stop loss can be set at Senko A or Senko B or even at the Kumo twist level. All these three regions work well with respect to stop loss and therefore you have to see what suits you best. For exiting trades, you can either use Kumo cloud as exit strategy or can simply use structure of lower high and lower low. In this chart, exit can be taken at these points where price attempts to move above the Ichimoku cloud. Now, since exit is very subjective, I will cover this in depth in subsequent videos. So in this second case study, we will take daily time frame chart. So let us first look at this congestion region. Price moves below Ichimoku cloud at this particular point, but both Tenkan and Kijun are flat. On top of this, if you even take a look at Senko A and Senko B, both are clearly flat. Hence, short conditions are not fulfilled for this particular region. 
So price then moves above the Kumo cloud and both Tenkan and Kijin start trending higher at this region that I've marked. Look at Senko A and Senko B, both have started trending higher. If you now look at Chico as well, it is clearly above price and moving higher with momentum. The combination that you have to wait for is alignment between various elements of Ichimoku cloud, which clearly suggests the same thing with respect to trend. Do note here that Ichimoku cloud is an excellent trend following indicator, but not many traders realize how effective it is in keeping a trader out of market during non-trending phases. This is one of the main reasons why Ichimoku cloud should always be tracked closely. Let us now consider a case of one minute time frame. In this congestion region, no trade was available based on the main rules and the confirmation rules that we just discussed. Once price moved below this range that I have marked, short trade was clearly there to be taken because all elements had aligned perfectly. In these region, if you see Tenkan and Kijin were clearly trending lower. Do take a note at Senko A and Senko B, clearly trend was down. If you look at Chico during all these phases, Chico was clearly below price, suggesting that trend was on the downside. The beauty of Ichimoku cloud is that it works across all time frames and it is suitable in scalping, day trading, swing trading, and positional trading. Now, this is something I will be explaining further in this series. So let us now look at gold as a case study on a weekly time frame chart. So in this region, gold was clearly consolidating, and this is clearly evident with Tenkan and Kijun being flat, along with lack of trend in Senko A and Senko B. Look at how many times Kumo twist is happening, where price is moving above and below the cloud. So there was no trade there to be taken. In the current context, if you see, look at how price is clearly trending higher and how Senko A and Senko B are trending on the upside. Along with this, take a look at Chico, it is clearly above the price and take a look at Tenkan and Kijin, both are clearly trending high. Now heading forward, if one is trading gold, one should only look to take long trades as trend is clearly up. So till now we have seen basic rules and confirmation rules for Kumo breakout strategy. Do note that application of Kumo breakout strategy is valid for intraday trading, positional trading and for swing trading. In the next three parts of Ichimoku cloud strategy, I will be covering Kumo breakout for each type of trading and I'll be explaining entry, exit and stop loss in detail. So before we move to the next part, these are the key guidelines you have to follow while trading the Kumo breakout. You need to look for cleaner charts where trend is clearly visible. Avoid charts where price is stuck in a range and price should be clearly above or below the Kumo cloud. You also need to look for position of price with respect to Kumo cloud, Senko A and Senko B, Chico, Tenkan and Kijun. So at all times, each of these Ichimoku elements should be aligning in the direction of trend. If you follow these basic guidelines that I've shown you here, you will end up trading only strong trends in the market. So do check out the details of our VWAP trading webinar. This is one training you should not be missing. Details of the same would come up in front of you. So kindly consider hitting the like button and sharing this video if you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys. Take care and be safe.